Hi everyone, it's Emma from Emma Dawn Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut out and assemble Molly the Mushroom. I'll be using my Cricut Maker and Design Space for this little mini tutorial for you. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Cricut Design Space, start off with a new project and then click upload image and you're just going to navigate to where your SVG file is saved on your computer or your tablet. Once you click that you can then upload your images into the main Design Space workspace. So I'm just going to resize these so you can see them all on the screen. There are four designs that come in this SVG file and here they all are. Now if I start off with the sort of regular mushroom pattern look, if you sort of go over to the right hand side where the layers are, you'll see every single individual cut that is needed to add colour to this project. Now this mushroom, you don't have to have all of these cuts to make the finished mushroom if that makes sense. All you would need is the base layer, the black outline, and then the red, the red kind of layer which has the spots cut out and that's the very basic of that mushroom. So all I'm going to do is select the base layer and change that to a white colour and then I'm going to go through and just turn off the layers that I don't actually want to use. What I recommend to you is go through, I open the design up, select the layers and turn them all off and then turn them on individually so you can see what exactly they do because this just helps you to sort of visualize what you can do with this design so, so if you've only got three sheets of card for example you would only cut out the black the red and the white and you'd still have your finished mushroom look but then if you want to add more colors like a different colored face or if you want to add like little under under mushroom parts <laughs> I don't know what they're called um, the gray parts you can do all of that so it, again it all depends on what you want your finished look to be like now with these other mushrooms you can see I've just turned it uh, red here if you select this layer and we're just going to turn it black this is what sort of your layer would look like without a black outline on so if I switch the outline on you can see that this one's kind of built up like a 3d sort of layered design and that's the same for the other three mushrooms that you can see on the screen as well so like I say just go through the designs have a look at the layers and the cuts and then just turn them on and off so that you end up with the finished look that you require so I'm just going to save my project and then we're going to go over to color sync and we're just going to make sure that everything is in the right kind of color so you can see here I've got this red for the top of my mushroom which is going to be cut out on a, the same red for the other mushrooms so I'm just going to move all of these about so that everything's sort of on the same color sync layer you can see if I move that to the black let's put that down to the white and then once I'm happy with everything in here we then click on make it and then this takes you to the matte preparation area so in here it shows you all the mats and the different cuts that will be on each mat so all I'm going to do is just go through and make sure that I've got the correct size card selected for these projects so once I'm happy with everything here I click continue and then design space will talk to my Cricut maker and then what we do in here is select the material that I'm using. So I'm going to be using cardstock, but you might be using vinyl. It all depends. Whatever you're using, if you can't find it in your favourites, your popular section, go and click browse all materials. So once I'm happy with everything, I then click continue and we start to make the mushrooms. So I then get together my card that I'm going to be using and my mats and then just start cutting them out. So these are the red parts that I told you about earlier on and then if I cut out the black parts next I can then show you what they will look like too. So you can see it's got like um, we've got like one pattern piece and then we've got one outline piece. So those outline pieces can sit on top of your red ones to make sure that your designs, your, your project pops so to speak. So all I do is turn my mat upside down and roll the mats off the design so that it doesn't curl your cardstock. It's the same for vinyl, and I, you'll always do it that way. Stick my mat sticky side down and then peel them off my design. And then it's just a case of cutting out all the other parts. So once we've got everything cut out it's time to assemble. So we have the white base layer, we stick on the red pattern piece like this and then I chose a different colour for the face and then we put the tongue pieces in and then the grey sort of under pieces of the mushroom, I don't know what they're called. And then you can see here I've layered it up with the outline, the black outline so it just adds that bit of definition. And again here we just use the outline piece and stick that on the white base layer. 
and then we infill with a red with the red card which shows the spots and then a different color face and then again here the red pattern piece sticks onto the base I infill with a different color for the face and then the tongue and then put the black piece on for an outline now you might just be cutting out the red layer just to press onto a t-shirt for example so again it all depends if you're using vinyl if you're using cardstock and what your finished project will look like so you can see I've done the three sort of solid card ones here and then we've also got this pattern one here which again just shows you sort of what it looks like if you're only going to be using that top layer. And thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you like the designs and I really do hope you like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media for regular design updates. I'll see you in the next video, thank you again for watching.